Hey church family, I want to send a, just a video to just let you know what we're going to be doing tonight uh, at the Longview campus. Both campuses are going to be gathering once again for another night of prayer and worship. Um, we're going to be starting at 6.30 with the prayer meeting. Doors open at 6 for those who want to come in and prepare your heart. We're going to have child care from birth to kindergarten, and then older kids can come in the worship service with you. Um, but I want to tell you why we're doing this. Uh, we This is not something we had planned to do. We, we didn't have this on the agenda. Um, but Wednesday uh, during the day, our staff met for a prayer meeting, and God started moving in that prayer meeting, began to uh, show us some things, begin to feel a stirring that God, he was just going to do something unique among us. And so we go into the Wednesday evening prayer meeting and the Holy Spirit fell from the moment we walked in. He fell. He took over the service. Um, we we were, uh, started seeing people saved and spontaneously baptized and um, testimony of freedom and confession of sin. And um, even uh, volunteers that were volunteering in other ministries were sensing a need to come over during the evening and came in and a couple of them were baptized and saved. Some shared testimonies, uh, weren't even attending on being there, but God drew them there. One story of a, of a young boy that was in our kids ministry, wasn't even in prayer meeting, but on his way out to the car at 815, he felt an overwhelming conviction of his sin and looked at his mom and said, I, I can't leave until I deal with my sin. And he goes back in and um, and gives his life to Christ. I mean, that that's the manifest presence of the Holy Spirit. He is doing things unprompted in people's lives um, because he's showing up in, in a powerful way. And so uh, not knowing what to do, we decided we'll, we'll meet again. And we met again last night and more people showed up, but more importantly, God showed up. We saw more people saved and baptized, uh, more people set free from sin. We heard testimony of spiritual breakthrough, confession of sin, uh, God gave a couple of words for the church that, that were from him through our people that were so powerful and, and encouraging and an over, overwhelming sense of God's manifest presence among us. And so we're, we're going to meet again tonight. If you would have asked me on Wednesday what I'd be doing on Friday, I, I would have not been saying this. Um, but we're just trying to, to keep in step. We've been praying that God would do this and he's doing it. Um, and so let's let's continue to move. So I want to challenge you. If you were here the last couple of nights, make sure that you're sharing your testimonies and stories, not as a way uh, of exalting yourself, but as a way of, of testifying. This is the work of the Holy Spirit through Christ that he is doing and that you've witnessed. And I want to encourage those who have not been able to come, whatever you're doing tonight, change the schedule, change the agenda. There's nothing happening tonight that's more important than what's going to be happening uh, in, in this room. God is moving. And he is pouring himself out. And I believe that God can accomplish in the hearts of his people more in five minutes in his presence than we can do in a lifetime doing anything else. And so we're going to gather tonight. We have no agenda. We have no expectation of what we're going to do. We're just coming, anticipating that the Holy Spirit is going to move in power and that we're going to get a chance once again to meet with him. So I want to encourage you, come tonight. Doors open at 6. Prayer meeting starts at 6.30. Let's come and see what God wants to do. I'll see you tonight. Bye.